This machine tapes the hockey stick perfectly every time by using a little engineering magic to turn this into this. This idea all started over a year ago when I happened to be thinking of new project ideas while I'll tape my stick in the locker room. Like all other hockey players out there, I myself have a specific way that I like to tape my stick. I like to use white tape, I like to start it about halfway down the blade, and I like to tape over the toe. However, what if you're running late? What if you're lazy and you just don't want to tape it? That's where this automatic hockey tape machine comes into play. Being from Minnesota, I wanted to create this machine to honor the legacy of the state of hockey. With Minnesota's all hockey hair team, the annual high school state tournament, and all the outdoor rinks and just the community atmosphere, it only seems fitting for a hockey stick taping machine to come from Minnesota. So in this video today, I'm gonna go over how I made it, how it works, and what the project has all inspired me to do. So to start, I began thinking of the different ways that I can make my automatic hockey taping machine actually run. And after brainstorming for a few weeks, I had the concept locked in. I would use two separate motors, driven by a motor driver and ran by an Arduino, along with a few other components to build a machine-like configuration. Then with a little help from my PrinterBot Simple, some homemade woodwork, and several trips to Ace Hardware, the parts were all gathered and it was time to build. Throughout the build, over a course of months, the project has changed from this, to this, to finally this. Over the long span of nine months of just building this project, the machine didn't even show any signs of motion. The truth was, I had a super awesome machine, but it didn't even move. But finally, after these nine months, the build was finally finished. So with the engineering of the project now complete, the machine was functioning in terms of the general goal. However, with barely any motion and just starting to get the machine running, it was time to head into the modification stage. But first, let's learn the physics behind this machine and what actually makes it run. For starters, what I discovered was that it's going to take two types of motion in order to be able to tape the stick. First, rotational motion of the motor shaft, and then second, the horizontal motion through the threaded rod. Along with this, with the constant tension of the tape being applied by the force of the motor, the tape is kept parallel to the surface of the blade. When analyzing the entire system, we can understand that the motor applies a constant applied force. Along with this, there's a friction force between the tape and the roll, and also within the threaded rod. Finally, we can see the effect of the force of gravity when the taping shaft faces more difficulty going up rather than going down. As for torque, being that torque equals the applied force times the radius, this was the reason why I needed to buy a stronger motor in the first place. This is due to the fact that the longer the distance between the point of the force and the pivot point or the motor shaft, the greater the force will need to be in order to match that same torque. As you can see when I play the video, when the two motors are given power at specific time intervals, the two types of motion are able to create a spiral effect with the tape. This action mimics the real life process of taping a stick by hand. In return, this machine gives the functionality of taping a stick all on its own. So now that you understand the general physics principles of this machine and what allows it to run, let's look at the modification process for the project. After running the first test, this was the result. Not great, right? But after attempt number two, and number three, number four, it was time for the moment of truth. Here's the video for number five. As you can see, the arm of the machine starts by moving horizontally toward the heel of the blade. Then once this button is pressed, the motor stops and waits for the operator to attach the first layer of tape. From then on, the machine goes through these consistent time intervals between the motors to give the stick that perfectly finished tape job.
So I guess in an attempt to connect my passion for engineering, sports, and physics, I created the world's first automatic stick taping machine.